Good morning to you on this Friday morning. I just want to return to Psalm 90 just briefly. I'm just going to read a few verses. Verse 4, For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it passes by, or as a watch in the night. Here we have a reminder that God's timing is very different to ours. To us, a thousand years seems like a, a very, very long time, and it's very hard to comprehend. For God, it's as a day that has just passed. God is above all time. And so sometimes when we think that God is maybe taking his time and answering our prayers, and we're wondering why things are taking so long, let's remember that God works on a different timetable, and that he tells us in his word that his ways and his thoughts are not our ways, and not our thoughts, and his timing is very different to ours. So that was one thing I wanted to, to bring out. And also, there's a beautiful prayer in here, in verse, oh, just trying to find it, in verse 12, so teach us to number our days, that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days. None of us knows how many days we have in this life. And Moses is asking that God would teach us to number our days. What does that mean? It means that we are aware of our life and aware of the time that has been given to us and that we don't waste it, that we don't waste the time that God has given to us. Every day is a precious gift from Him and we should be striving every day to love Him with all of our heart, soul and mind, to love our neighbor as ourselves, to take every opportunity to do the work that God has given to us and not to dawdle away time, not to waste time. I've never understood people who say that they're bored because there's so many exciting things to do. There's always something to do. And God, if we ask Him, gives us things to do. He shows us what His will for us is. We pray it in the Lord's Prayer. We pray, Your will be done. We pray that His kingdom would come. And we should use our time wisely in allowing that to happen and helping that to, to happen. So teach us to number our days that we, Lord, may present to you a heart of wisdom, that we live our time wisely. We spend our days wisely. We don't waste our time. Satisfy us in the morning with your loving kindness, that we may sing for joy and be glad all of our days. We will be glad. The days are good when we spend our days walking in tune with the Lord. So may God help us to do that today. Let's now bow our heads as we join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you once again for this psalm. Thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you that your timing is different to ours. Help us to be patient, Lord, because sometimes we, we think that you are tarrying, we think that you're taking your time, but indeed a thousand years is but a day in your sight, Lord, and you have oversight of all things. You are above all time. Help us to realize that you are always on time as well. Help us to be in tune with your timing. Teach us to number our days that we may have a heart of wisdom. Lord, help us to realize the, how precious this life is and how precious every moment is and to cherish every moment, for you alone know when our last moment here on earth will be. So, Lord, help us to use the time wisely that you have given to us. We pray that your kingdom would come and that your will would be done. We pray that you would use us accordingly, Lord. Help us to honor you with our lives, with our time, with the gifts that you have given to us. We present them all back to you as Paul admonishes us in your word. Lord, we present our bodies to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. We ask your blessing over this day, your blessing over us, our loved ones near and far. We pray for the sick. We pray for those in need. We pray for those who are mourning. We pray, Lord, for someone that doesn't know you yet, that this would be the day they open their hearts to you. So we commit all to you. We bow our heads and we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a blessed day today. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow. And just remember, ask the Lord, teach us to number our days that we may have a heart of wisdom. May you walk wisely in this day, and may you walk in the joy of the Lord, giving thanks to Him in all things. God bless.